Good morning. This is strange little thing came to me in the mail from Heaven Gifts. It's an exclusive to them. It's an RTA that has a little clamp system and it has a post system with grubs. So we'll check it out. We're gonna check this thing out today. We're gonna open it, build it, whole nine yards on Vape Am. Good morning. I hope you're all well. How are all y'all doing? I am Eli Juicy Jones. This is Vape AM. This is the morning vape show. We're with you two times a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. And what do we do? We open up stuff. We review stuff. We look at stuff. We chat with you guys live. Let's see who's in the live chat right this second as we talk. Oh, I have it popped out. Everybody, Michaela, Stephen, Jeremy, Julie, Haley's Crazy Daddy, everybody. Good morning. Great to see you. It is Wednesday. I've got my Shakespearean insult mug. I hope you have some coffee and some tea or something with caffeine in it. Sweet caffeine. And I'm vaping on my Revo tank from Aspire on my trusty Captain 2700 mod from iJoy, which I absolutely love this kit. Billy totally killer. This thing is amazing. Oh, there's my lip gunk. Sorry. Be killing there. What about you guys? What are you vaping on? Where are you guys at? I think that thing's automatically set to turn on every time I switch to this view. So, we're going to build on this Gems Axis RTA today. This thing is crazy. It has a dual deck that's just a little bit wild. Let me get the focus up here because it's not working correctly. That's the one. Yeah, we'll just pop it out and... Change to focus ourselves, man. Deal with it. How fun is that? Sorry, I gotta do a lot of clicking. They really make you click a lot, don't they? There we go. Access RTA comes in a box. Did you know these things come in boxes? This one is a stainless steel. It comes in a groovy metallic rainbow and also black, which is a little bit boring, and a gold, which is really cool. These things are about $27 if you use the Juicy Jones HQ link or HQ code, if I'm not mistaken. $28.99. Sorry about that. They're $28.99, but you got to use the code. They're from Shenzhen, manufactured by Gems. Try to scratch and sniff. UPC code. Get this thing open. Standard slider. One more complaint. Notch the box, guys. Notch the box. They never notch the box. Notch the box, will ya? Has a sort of cryptic manual. I've looked at this. This has already been in my ultrasonic. So remember, this is going to be slightly wet. So if you ever see these things wet, make sure that you turn it. Mine has been in the ultrasonic. Thanks for choosing, Jim. It's a single coil. Gold-plated. It's got a clamp and it's got grubs. Do you stainless steel vacuum electroplating? Pyrex. Read the manual. Okay. 27 by 40, 47 with the bubble tank on. Normal tank is 24. Four mils or two and a half. 52 grams or 50. There are the various materials. Check out the back side of this thing. It has a few diagrams. It says here you can either go in through the through the grub screws that's screwing down to the top, or you can go in through the clamp system here, which we're going to see closely. <laughs> Make sure you use the proper amount of cotton. You guys are going to be blown away by the crazy airflow in here. And then put the airflow, put the cotton down there. I've used instructions. Yeah. Don't use the middle hole. So there's a couple of little questionable things about this, but you'll see. All right. First of all, it comes with a good kit. All the O-rings you need. Extra clamp screws. Some coil. Flathead screwdriver. Another kind of coil, which is just a plain wire coil. Some strings for the clamps. Extra stuff. So that's good. Comes with a groovy little chamois cloth to clean these out. This is the regular size 2 mil glass. And this is that four and a half mil glass on here with the chamois cloth. You'll notice there's some 
fingerprints and stuff on here. And like I said, it's been in my ultrasonic. The one thing I thought was a little bit strange is that even though this is an 810, it's just a 510 top. So it's really just a big 5 810 adapter on top of here. You can't actually use, I mean, the 810 is actually just the, I guess it is the bore of it, but the whole top is a big adapter from 510 to 810. I guess you can use a 510, 810 adapter and it'll bore straight through there. That's, that's fine. I suppose. Good morning to everybody who just joined us. If you just joined us, I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters, Juicy Jones HQ. We're opening up the GEMS Axis RTA today. This little thing that has both a clamp style deck and rub screw style decks. So this disassembles very, very straightforward. I'm gonna set those aside and we'll just start taking this thing apart. Top comes apart for a top fill system. It's easy because it has these bezels on it and that's cool. It's a lot of metal on that part of this thing. The whole thing is just a big adapter for the 810 and a seal for that. You fill through there. Don't fill through there, they say. Fill through there, obviously. One of the tanks is gonna be very slim inside here. This has the GTA design, which as you guys know, I detest. I think it's silly, but everybody's doing it. And we pop it off and there is the deck. Isn't the deck wild? So first of all, look at that airflow. Don't you guys just see leaking coming through here? But at least it will have enough airflow. Whether it'll be able to keep up with the juice flow, we'll see. But there is quite a bit of space inside there. Right. So this is the clamp style deck on this side. We'll zoom this up even closer to get an even better look. That's the clamp style system right there. And the grub one is on top. It uses flathead screws, which Jeremy Fuchs will be stoked about. He and I battle all the time about me hating flathead screws, and he loves them, and that's cool. I actually think that in this case, flathead screws are the right call because of this, the nature of this. This was, wouldn't be as good. Grub screws, I think. It would work as well with... There we go. They have springs on the inside. I will take that all the way out for you just to see. You guys are curious. Oops. I'm gonna have to peer down at this. Oops. There we go, you see it coming out? It does have a spring in there. There you go. There we go, I just wanted to be gentle so it didn't pop out. Grab this. Get the thread on there. Get that screwed back in there. There we go. Works just fine. All clamp systems are fussy until you <coughs> get them tightened down. Uh, and so ostensibly you could put a dual coil in there, am I right? And uh, this is the grub system, which is a simple grub. The single coil that they say. I have some alienated coils from Dan here. If you guys don't know alienated coils on Instagram, check it out. But he sent me some, and I have some from the original unlabeled box that he sent me, which are cool. They look like about two and a half or three millimeter coils, so they'll be perfect for this. He sent me some big, I could try one of these. It's tempting to put one of the big, big coils in here, because how large is that? Let me see what I've got. I've got one very large one, but that one's too big, isn't it? Yep. It is, but just. So we'll do okay with these for now. Hey, Crazy Canuck, nice to see you. Hey, Car Paper. So we're gonna put this on the Vape nut stand. Oh, no. There we go. We have the single coil going here. I'm going to open up my tool kit over here off camera. It's just a coil master kit. You guys well know. Got all my stuff in there with my Allen key. So I'm going to grab my binder. 
and come back over here. I think I have the two and a half millimeter bit on here. What do I have on here? This is the three, so this must be two and a half millimeter coils. These are gonna be a little small for this, to be honest. So I'm gonna split the difference and dip into my new coils that Alienated Coils Dan sent me. And these, I'm just gonna pick some here. I think I'm gonna pick, oh, good, I already used one. Here's a three millimeter Alien made of Nichrome 90. So this is one of the ones I put in the haster and the deal is we can't test fire it. That's the only problem. Or that's not true, we can test fire it. We just have to be super gentle. But I don't wanna use this one because it's Nichrome 90. I just realized I'm going for large. There we go, Nichrome 80, three, three millimeter aliens. These are quad core Nichrome 80, Nichrome 80, three millimeter aliens. So this is what I want. We're gonna see how this comes out. These definitely would be better in a dual coil setup, but they're gonna be cool. Put this in here. Yep, good, size is right. Yeah, that's pretty good. I could take a wrap out of those, couldn't I, or not? Should I use the clamps or the grubs? What do you guys think? It looks like if I use the clamps, I'll have to twist them. So in this case, I think I'm just gonna use the grubs. Get it right down in there. These are nice because, I wonder if I should put one more wrap into them. It'd be kind of tough, wouldn't it? Well, not impossible. Yeah. That's just a half wrap is what I did there. I think I actually took it out and I put it. All right, so let's tighten one of these and tighten the other one. They're gonna be just about right. You're only a little off center there, guys, because I have to get the screwdriver in here. For the camera's sake. I'm gonna to try to get that just about in the center and push it a little closer. This is why I don't like flathead screws. They work better for the clamps, but I do not think for the grubs. Now this one, I'm gonna switch sides with this. And then push up from the middle. Just use my thumb. Oops, pulled a little bit of the wrapping off there. That's no good. So instead now I'm pushing here my thumbnail, I'm just gonna tighten that down. If I screwed up the wrapping too much there when I pulled on that, then I'll, oops. Oh, it looked pretty good, actually. Yeah, there we go, it looks good. See, look, it set itself. There's nothing to it, that fit right over the middle. Let me read the specs for that again. This is a quad four fuse Nichrome 8028 with 36 Nichrome 80 wrapped around it. I'm just pulling those up and around. Gonna tighten them. One thing I really like about single coils is that you really don't have to work very hard to set them. In a second, we're not gonna forget to test fire these like I normally would. But see, look, I put that quad core in there and it fit just fine. And there's plenty of room for other kinds of coils here too. I'm gonna to close up the clamps. You could clearly put in another coil on top, two little ones. Maybe here in the off time, we'll get kind of adventurous and put other stuff in here. Obviously you can put double coils in here. The airflow is absolutely insane. I'm worried a little bit about just pure leakage, but it goes straight up inside there. It's pretty crazy. Oops. You guys know I've been having bad, bad back pain lately, but it's hopefully just a temporary thing because of the weather or something. I'm just making sure these are tightened down real good because it's only a single coil and because it's only a single coil, I'm committing to these lengths right here. I'm gonna trim them off and then we're gonna groom it a little bit and put it on the mod and test fire it all together. Yeah, I'm just grabbing that to trim it. 
And on, on, this, on construction like this, where you have the bell, the cap that comes back around, it's very important to keep these leads to stick out really short. It looks like we're doing pretty good there. It looks like we don't need to trim it too much shorter. Like I almost nailed it, but I'm not gonna take any chances. Yeah, we're fine. Just gumming it up. This is also Nichrome 80, so these cut super easily. They're gonna be pretty soft compared to some stainless steel builds. Okay, there we go. So, get the flakes out. It looks pretty good. The build's in there. We got some fingerprints on it finally. There's just tons of room for your single coils in here. I, I wonder if the vape will even be great. I need to put Dan's other coils back away. But we'll see. Sometimes high airflow in these single coil builds end up being kind of weird, but we're going to check it out. For cotton, <coughs> I'm going to use Juicy Wicks Quick Wicks. Three cut sizes from Texas Tough. I love this stuff. The sizes are already pre-done. We don't have to worry about it. First, we're going to test fire it because the guys are going to make fun of me if I forget, but I won't. And I forgot to bring an extra mod, so I'm just going to use my trusty captain, which is awesome. God, I've been using this for a couple of days here. Still got half the batteries. This is all one big construct right here. We're going to turn this down to, looks like we ohmed in about 0.11. I'm going to come down to about 35 watts. Uh, just start test firing it just gently. Just half second pulses. Yeah, see, just to see what happens. I'm going to start running my tool through it just to even it up. The goal is, as you know, you want it to glow from the inside out back to the posts. It turned out pretty. Dance coils turn out so beautifully. I'm just sort of brushing it and combing it with the tool here and running the tool inside the diameter of the coils. There we go. We've got a little bit of a hot spot right there, but they're firing evenly and they look good. I'm gonna let them cool down. One of the reasons I pull the tool through here is that when you pull your tool through here, it cools it down just from conduction because they're touching. Yeah, so 35 watts, look at that, they look great. We're pretty good, we're down close to the air. You'll notice that I filled up almost all of that air hole. This is gonna be massive, massive, massive air, and we're as close to the air hole as we can possibly get there without touching it. Um, I like that, that's what I like to do. You guys tell me how you like to build single coils as well, and what you would do with this. Let's talk in Discord too. I'm Eli J.C. Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters. We're building on the GEMS Axis RTA. It's only available at Heaven Gifts. And this thing is a single coil. It's got clamps and posts. We'll go back down. And join us on Discord. There's a link in the description down there. Make sure you check out some of the giveaways and other stuff that's going on on the channel. We just did several episodes. Okay, I'm just going to screw this on. And you may ask yourself, why is he putting this on before he puts the cotton in? And the reason is I want to make sure we're not touching the outside. So look, we've, our ohmage actually turned out to be 0.24 after we tired, tied everything in. Which I did no math on Dan's coil, so it was going to be a complete mystery to me what the actual ohmage was. That is correct. I'm going to tighten them one more time just to make sure. There we go. Yeah, so 0.24. That's pretty good. Just to make sure that everything is copacetic and they're not mis- Oops, they're not like strangely set. I'm gonna take another mod, put it on there and just check. Hey, Jeremy Fuchs, great to see you. Hey, Jim. How many of you guys like single coil RTAs out there? I know several of you do. I know Chris Denton does, Ichi Bear. A bunch of us are fans of these things. I, I like anything that tries to innovate and do something different that isn't useless. Like, you know how I feel about the GTA deck, especially for something that's gonna be this high air. Raising that deck off there, I predict failure. It's going to fake great till you get to the bottom of it. I'm just checking the ohmage again, just to make sure. This one comes out at 0.36, which is quite a big difference, isn't it? Take it all the way out there. Okay, no reading. 0.36, 0.37. Wow. 
Why would it read that? Go back to 35 watts. See, isn't that weird? It should be high, but it should be that high. It looks amazing. Firing correctly. Okay. These are both iJoy mods with ostensibly the same chip in them. Yeah, that works. We've seen things like this before. Yeah, that's strange. All right. <coughs> First, I want to put it on the Home Tech Home Wrecker V2. This is how we find things out. I love it when you find stuff out. Isn't this fun? This could be a connectivity problem. It could be the mods. It could be the RTA. We have 0.28. So it looks like it looks like this little guy is wrong. 0 0.24, 0 0.28. That's not too crazy. That's not outside the realm of possibility. So for now, we're in. So what we're going to do is figure, maybe reevaluate what's going on with our Capo 100. There we go. So this is going to be huge airflow on this thing. Let me just back up the focus just a tiny bit. Huge airflow in this thing. I'm going to use Juicy Wicks, Quick Wicks, because you guys know I love this stuff. It's pre-stranded, and this stuff is uh, going to be pretty absorbent. The reason I'm choosing this stuff, I would normally use this stuff in an RDA. And the reason I'm using it in an RTA this time is that this stuff has got a mixture of my favorite RTA cotton, which is the Quick Wicks Texas Tough, which is pure stranded for RTAs. But this thing, thing is such high air and such a crazy design. It has so much air uh, that I want something a little bit more just pure sponge absorbent. So that's exactly where this thing lives. I'm going to take about a three mil section of this. In fact, I might even go a little bit larger just to, just to have a little too much. That will be too much. But I want to fill the in interior diameter. Actually, I'm going to take that back out. And we're going to push her through. This will be a whiz to complete easy wick because these are such large coils. And let's just take some E-liquid, which is Belgian waffles from, oh no, look what I have. It's eaten mess. Eaten mess from Van Gogh Vapes. You guys, make sure that you use the code Juicy Jones HQ at Van Gogh Vapes because you get a big 15%. And their prices are Canadian. If you go to the US.vangovape site, they have new Canadian prices. But as of yet, they're only offering 10 of the like 60 flavors on the American one just for now, just while they get it all worked out. You can always get all the flavors. On the regular one Van Gogh site, just click the Canadian flag. It's just that you have to translate the prices. And it's cheaper than it looks, although they are not the cheapest. Okay. Got a little 35 watt Bernie in there, just giving it a little yeah. And let's comb this thing down a little bit into these. These are huge, huge, y'all. They're huge. I'm using my, my dental tool. I may as well turn off this camera. I'm gonna bend down and look at this. Yeah, so they're gigantic. We gotta go down like to the bottom there because this is stupid GTA technology, which is pure crap. You know me, we're as little as possible around here. So I'm gonna get those ducked down in, the, in there. Get these ducked down inside here. Yep. You want to make sure that you have enough to have a little shoulder on the inside to absorb juice that goes stray because you don't want it to go into the actual airflow. 
So I'm lifting up a little bit just to get a little bit more in there. We're going to cut it pretty close to that. just at the end of that I'm gonna keep some of that ugly beard I made as beautiful as my beard I made a little hair cut it if it's messy you cut it off yeah okay no oh, I'm sorry if that was kind of off screen we're gonna clump it up pick it up inside here Watch while this thing leaks like crazy. Am I right, y'all? You guys tell me. Is this going to leak like an insane thing? Crazy Canuck, it's vangovapes.com. They are Canadian. So for you, it'll be a sort of normal experience. There we go. I have more e liquid than I would normally put in there. We're going in here. I'm going to put in some top fill e liquid. And remember, our philosophy here is that we only put in as much e liquid as we need to to get it to just work on the first build. So we're going to put this in here, put a little bit of e liquid in here. We just need it to get to the top where the air pressure is working. This is what I hate about the GTA design is that the GTA design requires you to have a bunch of e-liquid in there for it to even work. Okay, so we'll put this guy on here. Get a 510, no, get an 810. Squeaky, squeaky. Probably gonna leak like crazy here in the first thing. Let's go back up top. Check this out. I wonder if I have a little desk cam mini thing. Yeah, look, I got a little desk cam mini camera. I'm gonna grab a napkin. Always have paper towels on your desk if you're vaping. Always. There we go. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so right now, I hate the way this wicking looks. I absolutely hate it. You guys know me. I think the GTA design is dumb, and seeing e-liquid poking out of the bottom, or seeing cotton poke out of the bottom of these things when it could just be in the bottom, uh, it drives me crazy. And it being five millimeters closer to your mouth, I mean, just make the thing shorter if you really care that much, honestly. Huge air, huge air, huge air, huge air for 35, 33 watts. Remember, this came out to about 0.25 to 0.3 on our meters. They weren't all even, which is weird. So we're only going to vape at a pretty low wattage right now. Flavor's good. It's gurgly. Do you guys hear that? I think my compressor might be cleaning up part of the gurgliness of it. You might not be hearing that, but it's, you know, it sounds good at 35 watts. The flavor is pretty good. It's real turbulent in there. You can adjust the air in the Cyclops. I'll go about halfway down. It's loud. That's the thing. It's loud. Looks pretty good. I wonder how the two millimeter or the two mil glass looks too. It's got a bubble look. 27 millimeters wide if you that's what they said let's check our own measurement here yep 27 27 and very tiny change yeah there it is i wonder if it can go through a whole tank without leaking or having a dry hit because remember, it doesn't matter now these first five or six hit because we we pre wet the coil. Uh, it looks like Scotty says he has this RTA coming for his Desire X Mod project sub ohm version. That's cool. It's going to look good. I'll tell you that. I mean, as far as I can see, you know, the thing is the thing is chugging through the single coil. Okay, like I said, I put it a big. It's a big coil from our friend. Dan, Alienated Vapes, this is a quad core, 24, 24, no, sorry, it's 28 gauge, quad fused, nichrome with 36 wrapped around it. So 
kind of my kind of coil. Hey, Jim, thanks so much. My friend Jim sent us $10 in a super chat. I love you, Jim. You're the greatest, man. I really appreciate it. Jim is a super fan. And I can type in Dan's Instagram here. Instagram, and it is uh, Alienated Coils. That's him. So go see him. Call him. Follow Jim Bactration too. Jim Bactration is one of our great friends in the UK, and I love all of our friends in the UK because they have such a great, critical, uh, inquisitive, curious attitude towards vape stuff, and they're always willing to debate and talk about stuff. I absolutely love that. Really value all of our viewers, every one of them, you, especially you, specifically. Thank you. Appreciate it. And thank you, Jim, too. And if you guys don't follow Jim Bactration on Instagram, do that because he's always running around doing silly vape stuff and his own personal thing. Don't hound him. Don't stalk him. Uh, Scotty Maine, if you want to send money, you can use the Super Chat system right here in uh, in YouTube. Click on the little dollar sign next to the keyboard sign in the chat or uh, on mobile. I'm not sure exactly where it is. Or you can always uh, go to juicydonesHQ.com and click on the PayPal logo and they'll take you to paypal.me. Juicy Jones HQ, that's me. Oh, and Crazy Canuck says he's got degenerative spinal disease and spinal stenosis, uh, degenerative disc disease. Yes, yes, sir. I have two discs that are just they're just made of leather. They're just made of old-ass leather, just like yours are right back there. And uh, it makes it very hard to move. And so it's funny because we do this show at a certain height for the cameras and stuff, but I have to put my chair back down and like stoop like an old man in front of the camera um, when I do that. Um yeah, Scotty, I mean, that, that does help directly. Everything that comes in through PayPal or the Google Super Chat or anything, the Google Super Chat is, is my favorite way because that has to build up to like 100 bucks or whatever. But all of the money that comes in goes to coils, feeding the dog, making sure that we have electricity for the studio here, paying the rent and everything, and just helping make sure that I can spend as much of my time right here at the desk doing this show as possible. So I really appreciate it. People like, like uh, Julie Dickinson and uh, Stuart and Jim Bactration and all of you who have Chili Dog and the uh, um and uh ghost fox i'm so sorry i'm drawing a blank and brady of course everybody and dan lancaster and everybody who's given money to the channel i really appreciate it you guys really keep us going it's time for tea and station identification hmm yum oh unfortunately it reloads the chat so yeah this rta is pretty interesting Let's take a look at it down on the down low and let's look inside. Take it back apart after we, let's take two more vapes on it. Shall we? Let's take two more vapes and we'll open it back up. We'll just rip it right open. It's got, it's got a high ramp up time. So you'd be tempted to raise the wattage up to 45 or so. See what happens. I'm going to go to 44. Yeah, 45. I'm concerned we'll definitely outpace the wicking, but we'll see here. I see bubbles, and bubbles are good. When you stop seeing bubbles, that's when it's bad. I still think just lowering the whole thing down would be better. Just my instinct. All right, let's take this out. We'll take it off of here. Take it apart. Oh, thanks so, so much, Scotty Main. Scotty Main said that he's glad he's learning more about the vape and the more info, the better. Thanks for the videos and our take on the products and this scientific mentality behind everything. Yeah, our legitimate take. I appreciate that, buddy. Okay, so are we dry? No, not particularly. What do you guys think? Let me take the tool. No, it looks pretty good. It looks all right. So I left a lot of space in there, didn't I? That's like a that's like a big, big, big channel. And I left a lot of extra space in it. So it was pretty smart of me to use. I used fully half of the thing, but not more. I could have probably actually used a little bit more. But here what I'm doing is I'm just putting that back down there. I'm screwing on real tight. And then... So make sure that you fill up that diameter of that giant hole in there. And I recommend, I like I said, I didn't try a little coil in here. I'm afraid that small coils in this thing will just get eaten alive. 
Just my feeling. Do this. And Michaela too, of course. I can't believe I didn't specifically mention Michaela and how awesome she is. She's great. Because I love Michaela. Michaela has two beautiful, amazing, cute little puppies too, which are very similar to our amazing, cute, terrorist, evil, devil dog. My dog is a devil. He's safe. You guys who see us on Instagram, find see the dogs a lot. I love the puppies. Because I'm a stupid puppy lover, yeah. Doesn't it look like it's... So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just filling it up all the way to sound. We're going to see if this thing leaks. I put way too much in there. So... Get a little out. <laughs> Where's the lid, y'all? There we go. Stick that down on there. We'll wipe it off. Put it back on the mod. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny bubbles. <laughs> Jim, Juicy loves puppies. I do. Hey. So this looks good. It's going to look good on here, even though it registers the ohms wrong. Ah, look how cool that looks. Get the focus. Yeah, groovy. Get back over here, shall we? It says 0.36, which we still believe is wrong, right? I've closed the air all the way down. We're back up at the halfway. So, yeah. They did a good job with this. The pro here are the problems. The problem is that the GTA design being raised up isn't necessary. This is going to end up just having, you know, you have to keep filling it up right when it gets to the bottom. It's basically empty when it gets to this. Um, and it's real loud. They picked a, like, Crown 1 two-year-old style airflow on the bottom, and it's super loud. Super loud. You guys hear that? Hey, Stephen Y., thank you. And there's another example. Thank you so much, Stephen Y. You guys, donating to the channel really helps this out so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I think I'm going to use that money for the... Um, I have the RDA picked out. I'm pretty sure. It is the Kali RDA. That single and double coil one that looks like a cross between the B2K and the Pulse. You guys remember that? We've been talking about it a little bit. Some people are like, yeah. Some people are like, nah. I'm kind of like, I don't know. So I think that's going to be the one. Um, I may do that today. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate that. So yeah, they picked a noisy airflow. Let me turn it all the way open. We'll see, this is like all the way open. It's loud. Big clouds. That one was very wet and turbulent. So I'm still not convinced this thing won't be a little bit leaky just from how wet that felt. Let me take a Q-tip to it. Oh yeah. Get in there and see what we get. So yeah, that's wet. It doesn't mean it'll stay that way, but it does mean that liquid got in there. Hmm. Scotty Main, have I seen the Creus RDA? I have seen the Creus RDTA. I had that, and I had the Cito. But not the new Creus RD, RDA, not the new one. I've been talking about OBS lately. I haven't heard from them in several months since the. I can't remember one. We did the we did so much with the Cheetah this year and the the Cheetah two this year and the Cheetah one last year. Uh, Jim says, you know, I really love the community we have. What a great bunch you are. That is so true. I completely agree. Thanks, Jim. You, everybody here is so great. Join us on Discord if you haven't. There's a link in the description of this video right there that says join us on Discord. Click on that thing, and you can join us there. And you can always find us at Juicy Jones HQ. That's where we are. Dot com. I should have said dot com. So this little guy is pretty good. It's, this airflow is very original crown. Do you guys recognize this? See if I can get focus. Like that airflow is so noisy. And it's pretty good, but dang, y'all. I'm sure that the battery thing wasn't 
the reason why that was so noisy. This is like the original crown. Dual Cyclops that are this thin like that are usually pretty noisy. This thing also has high exposure. Like I feel high nicotine coming out of this thing. What most people want. Yeah, it's like a full millimeter high. Now it's like one and a half. It's hard to measure on the mod, so I'll just take it off. We'll measure that ourselves. Maybe I'll stop hitting the camera one day. Not easy. Okay. Yeah, it's 1.5. Here's 1.5. Yeah, so that is a very small, very long airflow on there. It's on a cylinder, so it's not gonna be exactly right, but it'll be pretty close. Yeah, it's about 14 and a half millimeters by one and a half, so that thing has got super noisy airflow. Oh, and Jeremy Hughes says he likes the phobia. That's cool. Check that out. I'll look at it as soon as we get out of here. Noisy. Super noisy. Why so noisy? Good, though. That was 45 watts. I'll go up to 55 watts now. I'm cheating. 55.0. There we go. It's got big clouds. Taste is good. You guys know I love the eating mess. The, I can see the bubbles coming out. I'll do another vape here and show you guys the bubbles. Turn the silly top cam on so you can see it. So bubbles are good. Bubbles mean that the capillary action and the adhesion and all that other junk that goes into this are working. So I'm not, I'm not unpleased. And remember, if we have trouble with this, don't forget that with your RTAs, before you give up on them, you can always just take them when they're a little bit empty, like this one is, unscrew the bottom, and doctor them. Take a tool like we did. Set the top cap down. Take your tweezers your dental tool or whatever, and I don't want to mess with that because it was actually working really well. And then stick it back in there upside down. And then screw it in. Don't give up on these things. And if that doesn't work, pull the cotton out completely and just start right over. No harm in that either. Happens all the time to me. That's how we get good at it. The reason why I flatter myself that I'm good at this because I experiment a lot. So I always encourage you guys to do the same thing. All you guys and gals. Designed and manufactured by gems, it doesn't say Axis, but it is the Axis RTA. I'm kind of tempted to look, use the two mil glass too and see what it looks like, but I think most people will expect us to use the super fatty. Oh, Crazy Canucks, thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much for donating through the Super Chat system. You were so awesome, it gave me a big blue Display and I need to set up the CSS that makes them appear on the screen too. I really appreciate it. You're the best. I really appreciate it. I love Canadians too. We have a lot of people from Canada watching the show, and it's great because everybody's right at home. I am in Seattle, high in orbit above Seattle, Washington, and as you know, that is just right across the border from Canada, from beautiful British Columbia. Where are you located, Crazy Canuck? Thank all of you so much. So yeah, this is really good. How much time do we have? We only have maybe another five or 10 minutes here because we're approaching the 45 minute mark. This is, this is Juicy Jones HQ, by the way. And so what did we learn about the Axis RTA? The Axis RTA is 24 to 27 millimeters wide. It costs about $28.99, $27.99. If you get it with the Juicy Jones HQ, it's exclusive to Heaven Gifts. It's got a pretty humongous deck with clamps or with... Uh, with post, and I guess it's kind of interesting, like we could do whatever we want. We could put some even 
fatter. I put quad fused aliens in this thing and they fit inside under the grub screws. So to use the clamps, you'd have to put some pretty giant stuff. You could put some really tiny, thin dual coils through it, but there just isn't a lot of space in between the posts. So you might have to stack them, which may not work that well either because you don't have that much height. But still, this thing has a lot of room for experimentation. And um, so if you dig it, click on the thing, join us at JuicyDonesHQ.com and on Discord, click on the link in the bio. And we are chatting in live chat too, by the way. If you're here after the fact, just chat with us if you want to and come back for the episode Saturday and we're going to have another one next Wednesday, every Wednesday and Saturday. And thanks so much to Crazy Canuck and to Steven and to Jim Boctration for making donations to the show today. I love you guys. Michaela is asking how I like the Revo kit. Absolutely love it. Today is my first full day off, and my goal is to turn off this broadcaster thing, finish the show up with you guys, which is great, and then finish that written review and get that posted at juicyjoneshq.com. That is my goal for the day. Get that finished. Um, I love the Revo kit. I think it's good. It is for super cloud chasers, mainly, I think. But the thing is absolutely fantastic. Like I said, I was I use it all the time. This is in my daily rotation. And uh, I find myself vaping on it constantly. I vape in mine between 85 and 100 watts all the time with the air half open, sometimes full open. Hey, Del Monte 30, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Like right now I have this thing. I'll just turn it on to 100 watts. Yeah, 102. The Revo coils just don't go bad. And that Skystar kit, it's the only 18650 mod I got all year, and I absolutely love it. I just love the Skystar. I have two of them now. I'm giving one of them away on the review. It is the, um, the carbon fiber one I used on the review. The thing is in pristine condition. It's great. I love that thing. In fact, it's better than my new white one. My new white one has a broken 510. So it's great. Yeah. Hey, Nikki Silver. Hey, Scotty Main's going to post videos too soon. That's good. Make sure you tell us about it at Discord. Follow us there. <coughs> and Crazy Canuck lives in Grimsby, Ontario, Canada. That's awesome. Is it snowy as heck right there? Dan Lancaster, do I want the Cali for review? Yeah, I was going to go buy that after the show. That was my idea. Because it kind of looks kind of like somewhere... It, I mean, to me, it seemed like one of the ones that we should do. You guys think I should get another one like whatever one uh, Jeremy recommended, I would do that too. It seemed like kind of a consensus. Everybody talked about it. Uh, Nikki Silver, what's my favorite mod? My favorite mod is probably the Captain by uh, iJoy right now. I've had mine for almost a year, and the thing is it's kept on ticking. I love the 2700 batteries. It isn't the flashiest mod, but they make them in all kinds of cool colors. Mine's just plain black. I mean, you can get them in freaking any color in the world. And I just love it. But I warn you that iJoy is about to come out like right now with three new mods. They have a triple 2700 and two new dual 700s, one of which is a squonker. So I'm looking for the new diamond one they're coming out with. That's the one I think might look super cool. I'm not sure. Oh, the Discord link. I think I have that. It's in the description of the video. Uh, and I can also grab it for you. It's like not very far away. There we go. I've been trying to make sure that Discord link is in the description for a while here. I have been failing briefly. I apologize for that, but here is the actual link right there. Ding. There you go. Oh, you found it. Good. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. And the trick is you make, you click on that register free with email. And then log into the Discord app and then click on it again. That's how I don't know. That's because of them. That's how they work. You have to click on it a second time to join the server. I don't know why. I don't remember. But yeah, my favorite mod right now is the captain, but it's 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 headed to I mean it may who knows? I'm looking for the new captain. There's a bunch of good mods coming out though. Ooh, Scotty, you're getting the diamond. I'm getting the white diamond. There are so many colors in the diamond. Oh my God, there are so many colors. It's unbelievable. <laughs> there are a lot. It's crazy. Um, oh, okay, guys, we just went over an hour, so I've got to cut this off. I love all of you guys. All you guys are the greatest. 
This is Eli J.C. Jones and Orbital Vaping Headquarters. <laughs> and we're going to see you again Wednesday. Thanks so much. We're going to keep chatting on Discord. Keep talking to us. And I'll be in chat for just a few minutes while Google turns us off. I want to say thank you to everybody who made donations today, which was Crazy Canuck, Steven, and Jim Buckration. Thank you guys so much. I love all y'all. We'll see you guys on Saturday. Thank you.